Welcome back. We're going to move on to lesson five now. And in this one, we're going to play the same tune as we did in lesson four. We're going to do my romance again. But the point of this lesson is to show you all the emotional content that I'm able to put in, not only from our draw bends, but from my blow bends and draw bends up at the top of the harmonica. Because this is what, to me, makes the half valving really work and what's part of the gazelle method. It's my style that is highly identifiable because of the emotional shading that I'm able to get from the half valving. So listen to my romance the way I would normally go about playing it. Check this out. Again, this is our piano intro. Follow along on your PDF and you can listen to my previous version and then compare the two. Okay, great. So you can see all the extra emotional content that's there, like on the five blow note especially, even though I'm not hitting a full half step bend, the six, the seven draw bend, that kind of stuff. And this is also a good point to talk about the vibrato that I use. I don't, for, for the style of music that I am most comfortable playing, which is American uh, standards, American songbook standards, some jazz standards, and swing music, I do more of a jaw vibrato, which I think fits the genre much better. And that vibrato is achieved by just kind of working our jaw, lower jaw back and forth. <laughs> So that gives you kind of a side view of what I'm doing there. And I like it because it's more like what a saxo player, saxophone player will do when he's working a reed. That kind of a thing to get a vibrato effect if he's looking for it in a ballad or something. <clears throat> and now this will take a little practice for you to do. It's kind of just a, without the harmonica in my mouth, watch what I'm doing. The trick behind any vibrato is to make it sound even and steady. And one of the things I've found is that if we try to match the tempo that we're working in, it actually works so much better. So Here I'll keep how I'm, I'm, I'm literally in time 
with the vibrato with the song. So that's something else to think about as we're rounding out our entire sound. We're not only concentrating on doing good valved bends, doing good conventional bending, and playing good clean single notes, and playing just regular notes that aren't bent in a nice manner where they don't sound out of pitch, what I call kind of a neutral position. And the, and the biggest glary note on that is always the five draw, as we know. If we hit that five draw really hard, it's always going to flat the note and it's going to sound kind of sour. Like that, right? But if we play it in kind of what I call a neutral position, we can actually put that in into melody lines and it works without it sounding so out of tune. Now, of course, in this day and age, we've got access to different tunings, uh, equal temperament or compromise tuning, not just just tuning, which is the only thing that used to be available years ago. And that note was always way flat because of the chords that they were trying to give you with that, with that tuning. But anyway, uh, I hope you see that the ornamentation and the emotional shading on all the notes is part of what makes up this style and the half valving utilization of that, of that thing really ties it all together. So thanks a lot for paying attention and we'll be back with the next lesson shortly.